what's up doll gang welcome back to my channel finally after 800 years it feels like i think i haven't made a video in like a month and that's just because uh i fell and knocked both of my front teeth out and busted my ass and that's what that this video is gonna be about because i've had multiple people ask me to make a story time video about that and they're like oh my god i want to get my tip and my tooth fixed yours looks so good where'd you go this that and forth so girl don't worry i got to <laughs> so i know you're like what do you mean do you have a chip okay well they fixed it i'll put the pictures in and there's pictures all over my instagram um forewarning if you're gonna be an asshole and tell me my teeth look like shit, I already know I'm in the process of fixing that so you can suck my ass. <laughs> um, so if you like are like squeamish or you like don't like looking at stuff in other people's mouths, then there's a really awesome thing called that X in the corner. Bye, love you, see you next week. <laughs> so, okay. So I fell about a month ago, February 20th. Today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. And my shirt here, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> my shirt says, I pinched back, but the eye is covered by my hair. <laughs> so there's that. So it's been about a month and this is how it happened okay so where i live uh, the like walkway sorry <laughs> i just went to chick-fil-a i have a dr pepper right right here so where i live there is a the walkway is literally just like straight solid wooden boards put like nailed together and that's how the stairs are while well, i was coming down and there's first of all there's leaves all over the walkway because the seasons are changing and we're basically out here in the woods and we're on a preserve so it's basically like if you're anybody from mississippi louisiana those types of places it's basically like a baby bayou a baby swamp there's like alligators and all types of interesting stuff over here so we're on the river so the leaves are like falling off the trees and everything else and because the seasons are changing and i went I, we were supposed to go to deltona that day and I get companion services through agencies for persons with disabilities. I have a disability. Hi, I have a video about that. I'll put my disability video in the description box so that you can check that out. Sorry, I'm so awkward. I haven't done this in like a month, so I'm like, ooh. <laughs> but, um, so I was coming down on that walkway and I get to the last two little, like, I don't know. It's kind of like a wheelchair ramp, but it's a very sucky wheelchair ramp. So I was like trying to be as steady as I could. And once you get down to the end of it, there's nothing to hold on to. Like, and the boards are raised and I've, asked the maintenance guy to fix that shit multiple times and he hasn't well my neighbor um caddy corner across the hall um must have bitched at him and told him to fix it because she saw me fall she's 84 years old and has nothing else better to do but sit on her porch all day long and be nosy and her son lives with her he's a vet a veteran so they saw me fall so mr lawyers went over to him and was like hey you need to fix that shit and when i came home the day before he was like literally laying underneath it fixing it 
and the so I'm like okay cool because he had the golf cart like directly in front of the thing and I couldn't get by it and I was about to bitch but then I saw what he was doing and I was like oh never mind I'll save it <laughs> and then so the next I'm like cool he fixed it not gonna have any problems for Gucci well that was not the case so I go on those last couple of steps and I get to the part where it kind of dips off and I don't even remember really how I fell, but like I couldn't catch myself at all. My caregiver said that like my butt was in the air. Like I tried to like use my hands to catch myself, but I couldn't. So I, thank God I did not like smack my head because after you get off of the wood, it's just like straight up asphalt and so I kind of like roll forward to catch myself with my two hands and I totally bit it and instead of like catching myself I went face first and I literally heard like my tooth make co contact with the with the with the concrete and I'm just like oh god and then so I get back up and I'm like she's like are you okay and I'm like dude my mouth feels weird and she looks at me and she goes <gasps> and I'm like what is it what's wrong and she's like your your tooth broke because I felt it in my mouth and I spit it out and I was like oh fuck uh this is not good and I it didn't even like I really wasn't in pain when it happened because when you have like crazy stuff like that happen like big injuries your adrenaline is just like like going nuts so I didn't feel anything I was just freaking out because all these jokes I make about not messing up a money, not messing up my money maker. A bitch messed up her money maker. Now what are we gonna do? So I call my mom. My mom's in a meeting, like almost two hours away, and she couldn't answer her phone. I'm texting her. My caregiver's texting her. She walks out of that meeting. I'm like, I fell. You need to come get me. You need to take me to the dentist. So she was on her way back there. She didn't even drive her own car to that meeting. The girls that work with her literally threw her the keys to the company car and she left. Kim got her car and then my caregiver drove me to her because we were going to go to Daltona, but we were just riding around and she wanted to stop somewhere. And I was like, dude, I don't even want to be around people right now. So we were just kind of running around for a minute. And she got me a bottle of water. And I couldn't even drink that water. Because come to find out, my uh, nerves on these two teeth were completely exposed. And when you have, like, nerve issues or anything like that... If you've ever, like, eaten something cold and it just makes your teeth hurt so bad, imagine that times, like, ten. So, I couldn't even drink that cold water. I was like, I, I can't. So, my mom's friend had me, um, my mom had her friend make me an appointment for the dentist and then... We went straight there because I think it was like the next opening they had because Denise called her and was like, she busted her front teeth out. Like what, like what's the earliest you can take her? And they were like two o'clock. So I was like, cool. Cause when I fell, it was like 10 something in the morning. So we 
I wasn't even thinking about the dental insurance at first. My mom paid for the good dental insurance, like the high dental insurance. Thank God. Like, oh my God. Because if we would have done this like a year or two ago, I would have been completely fucked. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't care if you think this is gross, but I couldn't afford to go to the dentist. So, I hadn't been to the dentist in like 10 something years. So, I already knew my mouth was all sorts of jacked up. So, I get in there and the girls are like feeling so bad for me. I take 800 x-rays. Um, thank God that, well, I had stone plugged in. I have, hold on, I'll show you. I have these glass, if I can get the goddamn thing out. Okay. <laughs> I have these glass in right now. They're not gross or anything. Here, so this is all on the floor. Okay. I have these glass ones in right now, but I think I had rose quartz in when I went to the dentist. And I'm gonna put that back in my ear so I don't scare anybody. I mean, I don't leave mine out for long anyway because I'll like take a shower and then pop them back in because if I leave them out too long, I'll get too comfortable and won't put them back in. So. But I had these, I had stone plugs in, which didn't show up on the x-ray machine, but she was like, you have to take your nose ring out. And I was like, uh, -huh, no, like you're not gonna, like nothing bad is gonna happen. It's just gonna show up on the x-ray cause it's metal. And if you haven't seen, I have my nose pierced. Hi. Um, so I was like, I just got it. And she was like, okay, it's just gonna come up on the thing. So they take x-rays of my whole entire face. Like they have this thing that goes around your head, takes an x-ray of like your whole face. Um, you could see like where my teeth were broken. It was crazy. I, I wish I took a picture of that. I like my brain was so scattered and I was so freaked out from falling that I wasn't thinking straight so she, the girls were like oh we have a cancellation the next morning at eight o'clock do you want to come and I'm just like holy hell like I don't care how early this is I just want to get this fixed I don't want to walk around like this and plus it was so sensitive I could barely eat anything Oh yeah, before I fell, I didn't even get to fucking eat anything before I busted my face because it was at 10 o'clock because when my caregiver gets me, we'll go straight on the road to where we need to go and then go with food. So, I hadn't eaten. So, this appointment was at 2 o'clock. We didn't get out until like 3 or 4. So, I'm fucking starving at this point. And she sent my... Um, script for pain medicine over to Publix because she was like you were gonna need this tonight because I guarantee you that you will not sleep tonight so I go into Publix to get my medicine and like honestly I felt so embarrassed walking around with my front teeth busted up like this I didn't want to say anything I didn't want to smile and like, if anybody knows me, you like, I'm like a smiley, happy, good person. So like, I'm holding the car, trying to not give people a reason to ask me questions, not trying to open my mouth, nothing. So when I was at Publix, I got what, a macaroni and cheese from the deli section, like where the hot chicken is. If, you, if you've never been in a Publix and you're not a Floridian, um, they have like a hot deli where they make, they have a cold deli where you can get like your meats, cheeses, lunch meat, whatever, and they'll make like subs right there, but that bread is really hard, so I kind of couldn't eat that. <laughs> and then they have 
the next over is like where the hot chicken is and potatoes, the meal soup, stuff like that. So I got a little thing of macaroni and cheese already made. And when I came home, I just heated it up and put it in the microwave. And my mom gave me a Motrin or something because my pain medicine was already. And they were like, oh, can you pick it up tomorrow? And my mom was like, no, my kid busted out her two front teeth. She had to have surgery in the morning. We need it now. And then they were like, okay, just come back before we close. And I think they close at like 8 or 9 at night. So I ate that macaroni and cheese. I just went really slow. It was soft. So it wasn't like super hard or anything. I just tried to be mindful of my two front teeth. I couldn't drink any cold drinks at all. Even drinking like slightly cool iced tea through a straw was fucking excruciating. But honestly, if you're anybody who has any like issues with your teeth or doesn't have your front teeth or doesn't <laughs> like if there's anything wrong with your teeth in the front and you still go out every single day, like you get the gold star from me. You have more balls than I ever would because I just wanted to like curl up in a ball and hide, honestly. I was so embarrassed. And then my, I scraped my knee up pretty good. Um, it took a while to stop bleeding. I thought I was gonna have to go to the, my toilet is running. I thought, I thought I was gonna have to go to the um, emergency room or the walk-in and have them either stitch it up or glue it up, probably stitch it up because I have, it's on this side, or my forehead's dry, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, it's this. I don't know if you guys can see, but I busted my face when I was like six years old, five. And this was in 2000, so basically they just kind of super glued it, medical grade super glue, calm down. <laughs> um, they super glued it, and then it came back open because they didn't really have anything to hold it but glue. So, I mean, it's not a big, huge scar, but nobody ever really notices it unless I say something about it, but yeah. So I was like, I don't know if this is gonna use stitch, but it eventually stopped bleeding. It just took a second. I scraped it up really good. And thank God it was the knee. I already have a really bad scrape on from when I was a kid. So I was like, I didn't care if it was scraped up or not. So that night I had that macaroni and cheese and my mom had brought me mashed potatoes and like the little Debbie mini muffins, they're like confetti cake and they're so good. I was like taking those cause they're little. So I was like taking them and shoving them in the back so I could chew on them. And I treated it like any other surgery. I've had 800 million surgeries. Um, I'll, I'll do a video on that if you want me to just ask me, but I've had a lot of surgery, so I just treated it as like I was going for a real surgery. And I didn't eat anything after 12 o'clock. Um, I just tried to chill out. And then my appointment was at like 8 o'clock the next morning. My mom went with me because I love my dad pieces he's like the coolest thing ever but he cannot sit still he would have been making me laugh and all types of shit and going through the cabinets and acting a fool and I would have been laughing while they're like trying to work on me and my mouth was wide open so no like you were staying at home dad but I love you <laughs> um okay so I get there at eight o'clock, they put me in the chair, and they, first they put this stuff in my mouth, 
that was kind of like or gel but like stronger and it tasted horrible it, if you it tastes like if you've ever like i don't know like gotten like carmax in your mouth like that weird taste <laughs> and And she put that on my gums and let it sit. They have, in their office, they have where set up where you can, they have little TVs in front of you and you can just kind of chill and watch TV while they're working on you or while you're waiting for something. So she put that on me, let it sit, let it marinate. And then she got everything set up. Um, my mouth immediately started watering like crazy pants because that when you have like the gel in your mouth your mouth thinks there's food in there so your mouth starts salivating like it's getting ready to eat and my mouth just immediately filled up with saliva so quick the girl literally that was the dental assistant was literally on standby with the jewel sucker thing i don't know what you call it um and sucking everything up because my mouth was watering so bad and then so she puts that in and then she does the the needle and i've only had one yeah, one situation where um, they need to do that and it was a filling. <laughs> and it was a filling. Oh, my back is here, I think. I can't even. Uh, it's way back there somewhere. I can't even remember. But that doctor was so smooth. I didn't even feel him put the needle in for the filling. And. I was like, is it in there? Did you do it already? And he's like, yeah. Well, this lady was not the case. This lady put, like she did the first one and I was crying. My mom had to hold my hand because I was crying. They were holding my mouth open. They didn't give me those things that you see on the TV commercial, those clear things that hold your ass open like this. <laughs> um, literally, they're just holding on this like this for two hours. And so she does the first one, she does the second one, and I just start crying. And my mom is holding my hand because that shit hurts so bad. So she let it sit and she's like, they poke you to test you, see if you can feel anything. And she's like, do you feel any pain or anything? Just raise your hand and I'll stop and I'll give you more medicine. So I was like, okay, cool. And honestly, she was so, so sweet. She was talking me through the whole thing. She's like, you're being so brave. You're doing so good. It's okay. And the, um, her, her assistant was really sweet too because my whole body was just shaking because it's a very very invasive procedure they when you have a, oh i had to have two root canals i don't know if i said that but yeah that's what had to happen and when you have root canals they rip the 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 nerves i was about to say veins the nerves out of your teeth so my whole and mind you i'm nervous i'm scared it's cold as balls in there my mom ditched me to go to goodwill because it's like across the street and i'm shaking so badly my whole body was just shaking and i was like because she had to take me back and forth to the x-ray machine and i was like i'm so sorry i'm shaking so bad and my mom was like she's probably so scared from where she fell and the girl was like oh i'd be so scared too so they were super sweet she was like it's okay don't worry about it it's a very invasive procedure i understand she got me a blanket because i was shaking <laughs> um 
so it was like two hours um i literally kind of just had my eyes closed the whole time because they had all types of tools and drills and i could hear everything going on it's like a c-section like you're numb but you're wide awake so you can hear everything but not feel it and i didn't want to see what it was that was making that noise so anytime she came near my face with the tool my eyes were shut and i didn't even think about vlogging this um i don't even think i could have held the camera while they were doing that so <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think about it, but, okay. So, it was like two hours. I think I was done by like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So, she filled in these two teeth, and I'll come closer and show you in just a second. She filled these in because she wants to fix whatever else is wrong with my mouth, and then have me do Invisalign for like a year. And you can't do Invisalign with crowns in your mouth. So when my, so my two front teeth right here, when I was little, I lost them. And I think because when they were baby teeth, when I was younger, I was like, grind my teeth in my sleep and it kind of like sawed them down a little bit so they were kind of uneven so when they start growing back they grew kind of lopsided and I was they took forever to grow in I was running around that whole summer without two front teeth and my grandma tried to give me a whole corn on the cob and I looked at her like she was nuts and she was like, oh crap, I forgot that he doesn't have her teeth. So, they, when they grew in, they grew, instead of growing straight in, and I do have an overbite too, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at my other videos, before I busted my teeth, my teeth were a lot longer and you could even really see my bottom teeth are all like you can now. So, here, I'll show you what they look like. She just filled them in. You can kind of tell. Everybody says you can't. I don't know. Maybe I can just because I look at it every single day. But when they broke, instead of just breaking in a straight line, they broke at an angle and I looked like Dracula. <laughs> and ooh, they were so sharp because they broke at an angle that every time I would talk every time I would do anything I would cut my lip and I busted my lip too when I fell so it was already swollen and purple and beautiful and so I'm gonna show you my teeth don't be an asshole so I'm going to get as close as we can because as, as high tech as we get up in here. So. Okay. So there it is. Can you guys see? You can kind of see them. And then. Mm, my lip. I don't really have a lot. Well, I kind of do have a little scar. And then, yeah, so that's my teeth there. Okay, so I'll smile for you and show you what that looks like. I don't know, I feel like I like Diesel Han better. Um, I feel like you can actually see that I have bottom teeth now, even though it took me a second to get used to my teeth not being so low down, so when I, pronounce certain words I was like missing the and it was making me lisp so there's that it was like two hours um but when the pain wore off like all the hair in my gums are so sore 
And all I did was sleep for like the first couple of days because my mouth was hurting me so bad. I didn't want to do anything. And while I was healing, I ate um, a lot of pasta. The after, right after I got it done, I because where this where the dentist office is, Chipotle is right on the corner. My mom loves the Chipotle burrito bowls and my favorite soup is the chicken enchilada from Chili's. So if anybody ever wants to take me on a date, hey, no, I'm kidding. So I had a drink of, I drank um, a whole bowl. Okay, a bowl, yeah. <laughs> Cause a bowl is the big one and then a cup is the baby one if you order it. So. I, uh, I ate a whole bowl of that. The spice didn't bother me. It wasn't too hot. I kind of let it sit there for a second. And then I just kind of went slowly and took my time and didn't try to shove it like I usually do. Because if anybody's ever seen my, like, any of my mukbang videos, I will take food and shove it because I'm hungry. <laughs> so, I just tried to baby them as much as I could. Um, brush my teeth really good. I use, um, the Aqua Fresh, adult Aqua Fresh. I was using the kids one for years and years and years. And I was like, okay, you need adult toothpaste. And then I use a blue, it's like the Equate from Walmart. And it's like a antiseptic mouthwash. And I just use that anytime I ate or drank anything that wasn't clear water or ice and brush your teeth. I wasn't even gonna try to floss. I left them the fuck alone while they were healing. And then I just made sure to keep my mouth clean and to not like do crazy stuff with them. Um, <laughs> honestly, we're all adults here. No, <laughs> no oral fun of any kind. Like obviously when I was in so much pain, I was like, get the fuck away from me, but, like, we're all adults here, let's be real, so, and I ate a little pasta, soup, mashed potatoes, I had, like, a chipotle bowl with chicken and rice, I didn't have, like, chips or anything, um, what else did I eat, uh, I had, like, all my drinks were cooled down, all my soups were cooled down. The, ma like, the packet of mashed potatoes with, like, the red skins in them. Oh, my God, those were banging. So, like, I found ways to eat and not, like, starve to death. There's, like, this, if you go into the grocery store or if you go into, like, Sam's Club or Walmart, they have these little boxes of pasta that are like chicken alfredo or something and you just follow the, the directions and what I'll do is I'll go to Sam's and get like a registry chicken just cut that up and put that in there and I eat that or oh they have at Sam's they have like the meals that are already made all you have to do they're in the cooler all you have to do is put it in the oven and heat it up they take like 30 minutes they're not bad. They're in the big freezer across from where, like, the meat department is, where they have the chickens spinning around. So, I eat a lot of pasta, too. <laughs> That's probably why I've gained so much weight lately. And then, what else? Um, I think that's it. Oh, I had an enchilada one day. That was cool. <laughs> so, I just try not to... Um, be too rough. I have to remind myself not to. Um, chewing on ice has been my biggest demon. I don't know if it's just because my iron's low or what, but I I love to chew on ice and like the big thing things of like peanuts, like the honey roasted peanuts. They're not out here because they're they're in my room right now. But I will literally just sit there with that and just like dump it in my mouth when I'm watching TV. So that was pretty much that.
that's pretty much it and I'll show you what they look like again and the pain was probably literally like a 10 after I got it done but me actually falling in the actual accident didn't happen I feel like my body was so in shock that it didn't really hurt it just felt like when you drink something really really cold and it hurts <laughs> I wasn't like really in pain. It was just kind of weird feeling. But I do have like an ungodly high pain tolerance. So my nothing could be like your 11. So I'm not the best person to go off of as far as pain tolerances. And I'll show you what they look like again. And then this bottom one. I know my lips are dry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I know this bottom one it has an aggravated the fuck out of me. I don't know why. So yeah, I think that's it. If I left anything out, um, or you have anything you want to ask me. Oh, and <laughs> the dentist was, her name is Farah Hassan. It's a Pakistani lady. She is so so sweet and so nice and so gentle and it's aspen dental in port orange um next to i can't i think it's dun lawton in the street and it's right by there's goodwill when you go into the uh plaza and it's literally right next door to moe's southwestern grill so yeah, you'll see it. Her name is Farah Hassan. She's so sweet. I'm not going to talk about price because I, everybody's mouth is different. Nine times out of ten, you won't need two root canals like I did. So, I'm not going to say price and then be my dad paid for it. Thank you, dad. <laughs> and I think that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it about my shiny teeth there. So, if you have anything that I left out, just message me. All right. So, stay true. Stay weird. I love y'all all so very much. And I will see you next week. Bye, y'all.